Hello, this video is over percent charts. Let's look at our number routine about Griselda. This is a dot plot. According to this dot plot, um, it's about the pets in our class. So we have from rabbit, dog, cat, horse, bird, mouse, fish, and other two students shows rabbit and so on. Griselda says the peak is other. I mean, most people, the mode is other. No, it's not. It's actually cat. The peak is at cat. Six students chose cat. There's a gap at mouse. I agree with that. It is asymmetrical. That means it's not symmetrical. I'm okay with that because the left side does not look like the right side. There is no cluster. That is wrong. There is a cluster from rabbit to bird. A grouping of numbers. And from fish to other. So let's look at our do now. Here is another example of what we just covered. Is there a gap here? Yes, there's a gap, an uh, opening between from, there's a gap from 45 to 50. There's a gap at 65. And there's a gap from 80 to 85. Is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? It is asymmetrical. The left side does not look like the right side. Not even close. Is there a peak? This there, there is a peak. This is the practice time or min by minutes. The peak is at 60. That means four students responded that they practiced for 60 minutes. Is there a cluster? There is a grouping of numbers from 35 to 40, from 55 to 60, from 70 to 75. And is there an outlier? Is there a student who shows something that outside norm like no not really because if someone had chosen like maybe 200 minutes that would be off the chart so no so today we are going to be doing a survey we're going to be surveying 20 students in your class asking them about their favorite concession stand snack so let's pretend that like five people chose popcorn four people chose nachos one person chose hot dog eight persons eight students chose a hamburger and two chose candy so let's find the relative frequency or percent five well we did a survey 25 out of 20 chose popcorn four out of 20 chose nachos one out of 20 chose hot dogs eight out of 20 chose hamburgers two out of 20 chose candy so I'm going to use a different pen color. Percents mean per 100 out of 100. What is the relationship from 20 to 100 times 5? So it's 2,500 or 25%. If 4 out of 20, what percent would it be? The relationship is times 5 also. So that would be 20 hundreds or 20%. Times 5. That's 500 or 5 percent. Again, percent means out of 100. How do you build this back to 100 times 5? That's 40 hundred or 40 percent. And times 5, 10 hundred or 10 percent. Which snack is the mode? What was the most requested value? The most popular value, according to this, is our hamburgers. When people go to a concession stand, a lot of people want to buy hamburgers. So it says make a key. You know what? I'm going to use different colors. I'll use yellow for popcorn because no, it is popcorn. Uh, I will use green for candy. I will use blue for not. Wait, I said blue, right? I will use blue. I don't know why that's not blue. Fine. I will use purple. Let's erase this. I will use purple for hot dogs. And they left me with limited colors. Sad. Fine. I will use blue for hot dog. 
And the last color I will use. What am I missing? I use this brownish for hamburger. So 25% chose popcorn. So let's get the yellow highlighter. So this is called a percent bar graph. We're going to create a percent bar graph that represents the data, the survey data. So 25%. So let's look at this. The scale is counting by 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we know it's counting by 5. So 25, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 25. So re this represents popcorn. 25% represents popcorn. Let's go back. 20% chose nachos. We're going to be using the purple pen. So 20%. Count by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So that goes right there. 5% chose hot dog. That would be the blue. So 5%. So 45 to 50. Let's count by fives. 40% chose hamburger. That is represented by the brown. So count, let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. The faster way is... Be starting at 550, add 40 more, it will stop at 90. And last but not least, 10% chose candy. So this is a percent bar. So what happens if you are now, oh, so this is a percent bar. So we're going to practice on this now. What happens if you are given another table such as this? Can you match it with a percent bar. So let's look at the first example. Let's get my 48 people. So favorite sport to play. 48 people chose football. 32 people chose basketball. 64 people chose soccer. And 56 people chose volleyball. How many? So first of all, we need to figure out how many people they ask in the survey. Um, if you add this up, that's 20 carry to 2. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it asked 200 people in the survey. So what percent chose football? So again, this is a percent bar. There are 200 people they ask. Out of the 200 people, 48 of them chose football. A percent goes up to 100%, so we don't know what this percent is. Well, I'm going to make a prediction. I know it's going to be less than 50%. And I know it's going to be about less than 25%. So let me use a different pen, pen color. What is the relationship from 200 to 100%? It is, the relationship is divided by 2. Divided by 2. So 24% chose football. So let's go through our survey and so we can distinguish which one shows 24%. Let's look at this first one. 5, 10, 15. Nope, it's not counting by fives. I believe this is counting by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Well, I know that. It's not the answer. It's just 24%. According to this, 24% chose football and it's the white bar. Is this by fours? 4, 8, 12, 16. 20, no, it's by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So this is 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's not that one. 5, 10, 15, 20. Not that one. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. It is D. So we're done with one up. So D. It matches with D. X1. If you add, let's find the total number of people. 60 plus 75 plus 120 plus 45 is 5 plus 5 is 10, carry to 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, carry to 2. So 300 people they asked in a survey about the distribution of music on Jesse's iPod. What percent chose pop? 60 out of 300. So let's draw a percent bar. There's a percent bar. There are 300 songs in all. 
60 of them are pop. The percent bar goes up to 100%. So we know it's going to be a smaller percent, less than half. Let me use a different pen color. What is the relationship from 300 to 100? Hopefully you said it's divide by 3. So it's 20%. 20% shows pop, which is the white bar. 20%. Oh, it's either B or C. Hmm. You know what? We can do the hip hop thing. So now let's do what percent is hip hop? That's 75 out of 300. 100%. A hundred percent. What percent shows hip hop? What is the relationship from 300 to 100%? Divide by 3. Divide by 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25% shows hip-hop. So we know it's B or C. So 20% shows pop, 25% shows hip-hop. So let's look at this. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it must be B. So this percent graph bar graph matches B. Next one. 12 ideal vacation destination. Beaches, mountain, theme parks, or historical cities. So they survey 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, carry to 1, 60 responses. There's a survey, 60 responses. What percent chose beach? 12 people out of 60 chose beach. So how do you build 60 to 100? Hmm. We could do it this way. Could we look at up and down? How do you break 60 to 12? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. So 100 divided by 5 is 20%. So 20% chose beach. I thought we saw 20% earlier. Oh, it's right here. So the answer is C. It matches with C. I know this one is going to be the last choice, which is A, but let's see why. If you add up all these numbers, but students prefer soda brand, 50, there are 50 students in the survey. So what percent chose Sprite? 18 out of 50 chose Sprite, which is 100%. What's the relationship from 50 to 100 times 2? times 2, so 36% like Sprite. And according to this one, it is 36%, so it's A. So what we just learned is you are given a, a chart. Can you find a percentage of it and matches it, match it with a percent bar?